The sky is clear and the sea is calm, the kind of summer day people would pay to be on the water. For lobstermen like Peter Miller, he has to be on the water to make money, but he feels his career is on the line. I used to be able to make money year round, now I can't do it. Miller says times have changed since he started fishing decades ago with fewer opportunities for the next generation of fishermen to make a living. For young guys, if you're not lobstering, or if you weren't lucky enough to get a scholar license, they, they, you know, for wild caught, there's no shrimp season anymore. Now he's taking matters into his own hands. You can see there's a couple. Teeny tiny matter to be specific. These little scallops show the start of the farming process. Nets collect what's called spat when wild scallops spawn, usually around September. Months later, the spat will look like these baby scallops, and then they are transferred to these lantern nets, where they continue to grow until they are sold. It creates opportunity for the young fishermen, young people, really, of Maine to maybe stay in the state and make some money. Miller is a member of the Maine Aquaculture Co-op. Since 2016, a group of fishermen and aquaculturists have been using a four-acre farm off the coast of Tenants Harbor to grow and harvest scallops. I just want to make sure there's a way for people to continue to make a living on the water. Merritt Carey is a founding board member of the co-op. A lot of our work right now is educating consumers and chefs about what to do when they get these smaller live scallops because it's not what they're used to when they um, when they think of scallops. Fishermen aren't limited to a set season or size rules. We can sell them live or if we want to shuck them, we can sell them year round. And Miller can continue to catch lobster while he tends to the scallop farm at the same time. But he admits it hasn't been easy so far. He's had his fair share of failures. One may wonder why take on something brand new like this. It's been quite a while since I've done anything stupid, so I was due. All jokes aside, aquaculture could keep him afloat. It's really diversification. If you don't diversify, then what do you have? These farmed scallops are sold per piece, similar to an oyster. Prices range anywhere from 85 cents to a dollar per piece. And several local chefs have already shown interest in these, and the words got out as far away as Chicago. We have much more on the process of farming scallops at our website and mobile app.